Welcome back to New Jersey Real Estate Training. My name is Dave Blinder. I'm your head coach. I'm a licensed real estate agent with eXp Realty in New Jersey, as well as a mentor for our brokerage. In today's training video, we're diving into Core Present found inside of KV Core. If you're not already familiar with KV Core, it is an all-in-one solution for real estate agents for managing your clients' leads and prospects. And Core Present is a great way of providing valuations for your buyers, as well as creating beautiful interactive CMAs for all of your seller leads. That being said, let's go ahead and get logged in to KV Core. And KV Core is one of many great applications that's included in our modest $85 monthly technology fee here at eXp Realty. If you were an independent agent, I believe KV Core could run as much as $400 a month. So this is an incredible value. There are a lot of perks at eXp Realty. If you would like to hear more about onboarding at our brokerage and those benefits, drop a comment down below in the video. Let's continue onward with Core Present. So we are first starting out being logged in to the main window of KV Core. Let's get started by heading over to the marketing area off the left hand side, and then we're going to click on Core Present. And as it says, we are getting ready to win, and winning is good. I'm going to magnify my browser window just a little bit. In today's training video, we're going to click on the win the listing option inside of Core Present. And this is for sellers, so we're creating an interactive CMA that can be sent out by email and printed as well. So to get started, we do need to enter a property address. And I'm going to enter an address of a beautiful property I sold recently in Morris Township. Let's go ahead and select that and see if the value has changed in the past couple of months for 27 Winmore Drive. And we'll hit next after Core Present has located the property. It's very, very important that you pay attention to this screen and pause and confirm the property details as this will very much skew your CMA coming out of Core Present. I'm not sure why the bedroom count continually defaults to only one in Core Present, but we do not want that. So make sure you override that and confirm all of these details. Otherwise, I am pretty certain that these details are accurate for my listing. Three bedroom count, single family, about 2,600 square feet. It was a little bit of an older property. We will now click on next for comparable details. So we are gonna expand the property type. And for property type, in this case, we're looking at single family homes, but there are options instead for condos and townhouses, multifamily as well. We'll keep scrolling downward. We'll expand the next column. And down below the year built, we can click on this button to change the year range. Let's limit that to 1960 in this particular case. We've got our close date field. So as real estate professionals, we always want to be pulling the most recent data off our MLSs. So six months closing date is a fine timeline for, for pulling values for your CMA. If it was a specialty property, there could be some room for an exception where you're going to go back to data greater than six months. Let's keep going down. So we'll check out the bedroom count. We'll expand on that. And oftentimes there can be an overlap in value. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that right button out. And now we're going to go ahead and include comps that not only encompass three bedrooms, but also four. Uh, my logic for doing so is with a square footage of about 2,600 square feet. That is fairly large for a typical uh, three bedroom home. So why not check out some four bedroom prices as well so that we're pulling enough comps for a decent sample size for our seller lead. We can go ahead and expand on the square footage. In my own experience, square footage is actually rarely entered in my local MLS, which is Garden State MLS. So I'm going to recommend that you click on this optional box down below that include listings that don't list square footage, but align with other selected criteria. 
we'll go ahead and click and expand on this total lot size and this is fine we can, we can switch that over to acres if you like and from zero to one and a half acres sounds great to me we're now going to shift our focus to the map view in the center and right side of our screen we can see by default corepresent has drawn a one mile radius surrounding our subject property if we magnify and zoom in we can see our subject properties being defined by the orange house logo on the screen down below the map area, we have a legend of the status of these comps that are being pulled off of the MLS. And again, these comps are stemming from the comparable details we have entered on our left-hand side categories. And we and our sellers and recipients can go ahead and click on any one of these colored tabs to bring up some basic information on the property and we can also go ahead and click on the more info tab to bring up a full listing with our listed price sold price and a lot of great information on these properties to be included in our cma however in this instance the default map is pulling up some problematic properties that are falling outside of the municipality of our subject property my listing that I'm valuing is in Morris Township. And some of these comps in that one mile radius are in Hanover Township, so they're extra limited. They're outside the boundaries of our town. And we know that comps can vary greatly from town to town as real estate professionals, different school zones, different services, all that good stuff. How do we eliminate these comps that are not within Morris Township and that are falling within Hanover Township? We could indeed shrink down the radius of our circle by selecting from this drop down menu. To take matters into our own hand, however, I'm going to click on the draw shape icon found in this menu bar above. And for precision purposes, I'm going to zoom in on our map. And now I'm going to very, very carefully begin manually drawing an outline below Park Avenue. So we're eliminating the properties and comps being pulled, pulled from Hanover Township off of Garden State MLS. We could grab some of these Southern properties on the Southern perimeter of Morris Township and Morris Town. However, we are gonna close out that shape. As we do so, we're gonna see in our legends that our number of comps have changed based on the uh, radius and perimeter of our map selection. So again, you can click on any one of these properties and verify it falling in the right municipality. You wanna spend your time on this so you're not sending comps from a different town or city. That's a big no-no in valuation land for a residential realtor. So we are now gonna proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that next build CMA ray button which will load up in just a gif you can review information such as how many properties were pulled from that map legend we've got our search criteria being confirmed up above us and as we scroll downward we can see that a nice graph has been created for our recipients and for us of where the different properties are falling on our comp map in a uh, left to right increasing value range and we can see outlined in green this property is an average of all of our active comps and we can see the proximity in mileage as well from our target property which is very interesting and most informative to our recipients as well some beautiful infographics down below on what's going on in the market based on our map selection and criteria we've chosen so a lot of nice bells and whistles here in core present so this is looking good to me i'm going to proceed by clicking on the blue create presentation button in the upper right hand side of core present on our screen now we have our draft presentation slideshow or output created by core present that is currently divided into six sections with a total of 11 slides in the gray menu options up above, we have some presentation settings such as our emphasis or order. We have different themes or looks available to us, as well as different presentation modes. 
you can go ahead and click on any of the categories on the left side of the screen to preview what the content looks like. And on our introductory slide, I greatly recommend you click on the cover option image selection. And it is very wise to add a picture of the property as that will create more of a wow factor or pop to your presentation, as well as greatly increase your open rate as you email these out to your seller leads. You can also edit the, the sample text by clicking on the pencil icon to the right of the introduction slide. You can go through and click on any category to pre preview the different content that Core Present is creating for us. Again, this is really beautiful interactive slides for our CMA with a lot of great information that will be valuable to our sellers, I'm sure. You could remove any slides you don't like by clicking on the X button or clicking on the green button below allows you to add any slides you've created manually as well. And assuming these look good to you, you can proceed forward by clicking on the present and share blue button in the top right corner. Our next screen is the presentation dashboard in Core Present. This is the time to connect your market valuation or CMA and link it to the contact details found in your KV Core contacts database in this area here. You can add additional information such as listing agreement links, net sheets, videos, a lot of great stuff. You have this option as well to download and print out the slideshow we created. This makes a very powerful leave behind for your listing presentations when you head in in person to meet with your clients. For today's practice exercise, I recommend you click on the email presentation button, which brings up our email prompt in KV Core. So it's important to take some time and write out a meaningful subject and message. Do not leave these fields blank as it will look very, very spammy to your leads. So that was a lot of talking, but I hope you have learned a lot of how to initiate a CMA through Core Present and KV Core. I think it's a very, very powerful tool. I use it often. It's a beautiful, sleek and modern interface for providing these market valuations. If you have any questions at all on Core Present or KV Core, you can drop them right below in the comments in today's video. If you have any questions whatsoever on onboarding with eXp Realty and the benefits of being a real estate agent at eXp, I'd love to have a chat with you. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.